Hello, this is Jennifer Priest from Hydrangea Hippo, and I'm showing you my scrapbook room circa April 2012. I just rearranged it yesterday, and um, some people on Facebook asked to see what the new arrangement is. So, <clears throat> this is kind of my whole room from the outside. And basically what I did is I moved what was my office into my scrapbook room. So let's go have a little look. Sorry if it's a little shaky. Um, all right, so here's my desk. And this is where I do all my work. It used to be in another room. And eventually what I want to do up here on this wall is put like a big TV or monitor or something so I can actually watch movies and put it on like an articulating or a, I forget what those are called, the arm that comes back and forth you can pull it up and down off the wall but here I have some artwork I got both of these on Etsy's one's from Helen Dardick and the other one's a Michelle Mall print I love Etsy for cool inspiring things now everything else in my room is pretty much the same as before um, here I have my printer which kind of takes up room on my desk now that is not so awesome but I moved everything over like my tools and stuff so hopefully that gives me more room Here's where my stamps go, and my little bulletin thing. Here's my pegboard with my ribbon and my twine. And then I have some other projects in progress over here. I used to have all these rolls of trim here on this um, bookcase, but I took all those down, and now I just have tools. And um, I did keep the white ribbon and trim, because I want to start dyeing ribbon more. So again, when I talk about stuff in my organized crafter class, I'm always saying your room needs to work for you, so I want to make sure I dye lace more with ink, so I make sure I have that here available. I have these little glassine bags uh, shoved in this corner. These I usually use for packing Etsy orders. Um, then this giant bookcase was on the other side of the room where my desk was at, and I moved it around and put it here now, and I put my cardstock in it and my chipboard, and then down underneath I have art bins and things in there. And then under the table, I just have a lot of overflow. I have fabric bins, a bin of trimmers, some kits and things over here. I have my little power strip here with all my tools for my husband. He's supposed to be fixing all those cords for me. <laughs> the cords are a disaster. Um, and then he, hang, he hung some pictures for me in the corner. These are some more Etsy purchases, another Helen Dardick. I forget who the poster's from. And then... Um, this one's a pen drawing, which is really cool. I forget the name of the artist, but she's in my Etsy favorites. All right, then I have all my buttons, some pennants from my display at CHA. Um, and these library style cabinets are from Hobby Lobby. I got them on sale a couple months back. Um, I have a piggy bank I'm working on, my sewing machine, which is broken at the moment, unfortunately. Um, I have to get that fixed. Underneath I have my drawers. If you saw my previous video, it's the same story. All my stuff by color. I have two different colors of stuff in here. And I like that these drawers are shallow because I can see everything in one layer. Also my um, rolly tote for, scrap for crops is there. I just got these little hippo watering cans at Target in the dollar spot. I don't know what I'm going to do with them yet, but I'm going to do something. I thought they were really cute. And then I have more supplies, a big basket of flowers up there. <clears throat> and then over here I have my like die cutting center. So this is my silhouette, my big shot. Um, underneath I have more tools, punches. Over here these blue bins are all of my class supplies. So this is stuff I have in bulk. I moved my alphabet stickers over here so that um, I can just get to them easier. And then I have my clip it up over here too. So I also put my big shot on the table in front of my silhouette. And I'll just move that when I need to cut. I have my ribbon here. I've been working on it. I've been using it up. And then I have buttons and other fun things over here. Now from the ceiling I have all these really cool little Chinese lanterns. And then the honeycomb ones are actually gift card holders from Anthropology that I got a couple years back. They actually gave them to me which was surprising. All right, so that's a tour of my little room. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for uh, stopping by.